one last question on on kind of stem cells in general. Uh, can they de-differentiate or ca can they move between different types once it's become a like a liver cell uh, or a liver stem cell? Can it only just become a liver cell? No, th that is a, I mean, yes and no. Like, like there's a, there's a, there's a limitation how far they can go before they start to be able to de-differentiate. But if it's not too far in the process, if they have the, reached the stage of a progenitor cell like a, a liver stem cells, they can de-differentiate to an extent. It's hard to give a definitive answer to this because, mm -hmm. because you have the the general belief that I would almost call like a dogma coming from the past decades of stem cell research that will tell you when a stem cell has taken a path, it has taken the path and it, it cannot come back. And all I can point to you are studies in the scientific literature that will tell you, well, that did not happen in that case, or here's a proof that that is not the case. But there's not enough of those studies to now give you like a comprehensive understanding of what kind of de-differentiation can happen, the degree to it, the limitation of, of this process. There's not enough of this, but I can tell you that, for example, you took a good example with liver stem cells. Liver stem cells put into the pancreas can become pancreatic cells that are producing insulin, as an, exa as an example. Excellent. So stem cells form this repair mechanism. Another, another example, right. air follicle stem cells. Mm -hmm. You extract an air follicle stem cells, you inject that into a spinal cord that has a lesion, you can repair the spinal cord lesion. Another example. So total diversion. Could you, um, could you use stem cells to regenerate cut hair color if you put the stem cells into the hair follicles? Uh, you don't even have to do that. If you just put more stem cells in circulation and you drive them in some way to the scalp, they can do that. They can turn into melanocyte stem cells uh, in the scalp and melanocyte stem cells will produce melanocyte that will provide air color. Uh, mm -hmm. In the early, I would say like in 2005, 2006, when we launched our first product that was putting more stem cells in circulation, I remember people telling that stories, that it was helping their hair reverse to their natural air color. And at some point I get I got kind of a little bit mad about it. I told people, don't make these stupid stories, like, like stick to the truth. The <laughs> truth is good enough. You don't have to make stories like this. And a friend of mine came to me and he says, no, it's, it's happening to me and he's showing me pictures. And I was very, very like skeptical about the whole thing. So we went to a lab of cosmetology and we asked them to simply take pictures and do analysis of density of white uh, in the side and the back of the head. And it was a preliminary study. It was a small study with eight participants, but in six months, all eight, sorry, six participants, all participants in six months had about 20% reversal in uh, in white density of white in their hair. So yes, we can see reversal of air color, but mm -hmm. I will say if you really want to drive it, uh, you would probably want to add a few uh, a few additional elements to that treatment because, you know, air color is not life-threatening. So I don't see that mm. as a treatment. But in any case, yeah. um, you want to trigger an injury that will drive more stem cells to the scalp. So com so you want to combine that with like needling. Mm -hmm. Needling that will trigger a, a, an injury to your scalp will require, will call for repair and will drive stem cells into your scalp. If you already have enough hair into your, into your scalp, then there's a chance that some of these uh, stem cells will become melanocyte stem cells. So, so and try to put more stem cells in circulation and our means to do that. So more of them will be called to migrate in the scalp. But yes, it has been seen. Actually, I will add one other thing to this. All the plants that we have studied as having an effect on stem cells have in their historical use air color reversal as part of their use in, in terms of folk medicine. So for example, we worked with a, an expert in Chinese medicine at some point, and we started to make the parallel as to how stem cells, the definition of stem cell is really following the definition in ancient Chinese medicine of what was called the Jing. There was a primordial Jing that is present on the day of conception, and there's a postnatal Jing that is your vital force during your lifetime. And the description really paralleled embryonic stem cells and adult stem cells. So I asked them, well, do you have plants that are known to support 
postnatal gene? And, and the person says, yes, Foti, Eshuwu, and Goji Berry. So we went in the lab. So Foti stimulates the gene. Goji Berry circulates the gene. And in the lab, what we found is that Foti was triggering stem cell release from the bone marrow, and Goji Berry was triggering their migration into tissues. I found it like fascinating that we could go in the lab and support these fundamental tenets of traditional Chinese medicine, uh, but FOTI has been used in traditional Chinese medicine. One of its application is to help you reverse your hair color.